Hey, what's up peeps? Today, I'm gonna show you how to install the Technicolor CineStyle profile on your camera. Once you have CineStyle installed on your camera, you'll be able to match the look and color capabilities of much more expensive camera equipment. Your clips can easily be color graded to match different cinematic styles and you can exploit a far greater dynamic color range when you're shooting in difficult lighting conditions. If you want to see video comparisons of CineStyle footage, go ahead and click the link right here and you'll be taken to a video comparing CineStyle clips to footage shot with preloaded profiles on my camera. You can also find that link in the video description below. Okay, let's get down to business. First, you want to ensure your EOS utility installed on your computer is version 2.6 or later. If you don't have the EOS utility on your computer, you can find a download link in the video description below. Next, you'll want to click on the link in the description of this video to access the free download page for CineStyle. Download the Technicolor CineStyle profile on that page. After it's downloaded, you'll want to go to the zip file and right click Extract All Files. Next, you'll want to go ahead and start the Canon EOS utility. Connect your camera to the computer with a USB cable. Make sure the camera is in photo mode and not video mode. And for the EOS 5D Mark II, you may need to set communication to PC Connect in the camera's menu. Click Camera Settings, then click Register Picture File Style. After that, you'll select one of the user-defined uh, spots, one, two, or three, at the top of the new page. You'll want to click the Open File icon and then select the CineStyle PF2 file you just downloaded and unzipped from the website. Once it loads, click OK and boom, you're done. Unplug and turn on your camera, go to the picture style menu and select your user-defined CineStyle. One thing that I personally like to do is take the saturation down a couple notches. It gives me more flexibility when I'm color grading. I almost forgot. One thing I wanted to make sure I include in this video is information about the CineStyle S-Curve LUT. When you look inside the original unzipped CineStyle download, you'll notice there's another zip file for a CineStyle color correction LUT. I'm not sure what editing software it works with, but it won't work with Premiere Pro, and that's because it's an MGA, and that's because it's an MGA file. I put in a link in the description of this video below where you can access a free download of a cube version of this LUT, which works fine with Premiere Pro. I used to use a 709 LUT, but I like this S-curve LUT much more, so definitely check it out. Maybe you'll want to use it. So as always, feel free to ask questions or share experiences in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Now go out and create some great content. I'm out.